Teen Tops X member cap. New jeans Hani making 3.8 million USD despite not being Korean. Through a video titled New Jeans Hani's Parliamentary Audit is Problematic on his YouTube channel, Cap began by stating, I read about Hani's parliamentary audit appearance and it was all about herself. For someone like New Jeans whom I consider to be in a different class altogether, how can others relate if she only talks about her own experiences? He continued, You can't just talk about yourself? It's fine to use your fame, but shouldn't you use that fame to speak for others? They should have brought in trainees who really didn't get paid. If you want to address labor law issues, you should talk about the 10% who were disrespected as contract workers and freelancers, but instead she only talked about our team this and our team that, and how the person in charge of our team did this and that. Particularly referencing Hani's Vietnamese-Australian background and New Jean's recently reported settlement of 5.2 billion won, around 3.8 million USD, he raised his voice saying, if someone who isn't even Korean is talking about themselves 90% of the time, how does that look? Normal people assume that a group like New Jeans is making a lot of money. That's a negative perception, both for her and for her group. Cap argued that instead of Hani, who earns 3.8 million US dollars and is a foreigner, talking about herself, it would have been better to address the disrespect and bullying in the entertainment industry. He pointed out, There are many vulnerable people around me, and there must be numerous people affiliated with entertainment companies. The focus should be on them, but instead, they're talking about how their team was disrespected and bullied. While her attendance was fine, she couldn't deliver the right message. He emphasized, successful celebrities have it easy. The problem lies with those who haven't made it. The invisible ones are the problem, adding, if you want your voice to be heard, you need to create empathy with people in the gray area, but Hani failed to do that. It was frustrating. Meanwhile, Hybe and Ador's director Min Hee Jin have been in conflict for seven months over allegations of management rights theft. Particularly, Min Hee Jin and New Jeans have raised issues about Hybe's copying, disrespect, and bullying, which led to Hani and Ador CEO Kim Joo Young being summoned as witnesses at the National Assembly audit. During her appearance at the Environment and Labor Committee's audit on October 15th, Hani addressed workplace bullying issues related to idol ostracism. Regarding CEO Kim, she stated, I don't think CEO Kim did her best. There were more things she could have done, and despite saying she would protect us, she didn't even show the will to take action, adding, I hope she will do better in the future. I know this issue will just pass if we talk about it now, so before discussing the future, I hope this problem can be resolved quickly.